the sergeant that investigated the fire. Let's call this motherfucker. My purpose for being there was to figure out how the fire started and collect fire evidence. So you know that the person who allegedly died was part of the arson that started the fire? Okay, neither yourself? You didn't tell me it was an arson. Well, it was obviously an arson. Did you not come to that conclusion yet? Really? Here's, here's my problem, Sergeant Burgo. You didn't ask to talk to either of the two, two other people who survived the fire. They were gone. I have, I have contact with both of them. You have, still haven't asked me for contact for the only two other people besides me who allegedly survived this fire that you can't seem to figure it out. I Sir. Contact info that night. Yeah. Never reached out to either of them. Never reached out to either of them. Give me a name to one of them. I had to figure that out on my own. I gave you the name to both of them. I get it on video, son. Don't start lying now. You gave me the first name of a male Hispanic. That was it. You didn't give me his whole name. I looked it up in my phone for you to get his last name. And in multiple... Co I gave you six of his contact numbers. Yeah, I do. I need to know why you're covering up an arson. Sir? So why don't I retake your statement again then? That'd be great. Tell me from the beginning what happened. Your claim is that nobody died in that fire. Obviously, well, you know nobody died in the fire, buddy. You helped yeah, cover it up. I don't have time for this. You don't? Well, I just needed you to say it on video, son. So let's, who's your, who's your commanding officer? Okay, there is a person that was deceased in that fire. False. Know, because my partner and I dug him out with the coroner's office. Dug him out? Motive. What if what? Are you are you like is is there a ceiling? There must be a ceiling in the sheriff's department. There's got to be a ceiling, right? An, an IQ ceiling. I talked about my motive the entire time that I talked to you and the other guys in the the uh, the other cops who sat with me all night after the so fire you guys set. You started the fire to kill this guy. No, I'm saying why aren't you investigating it? Still? Well, the, the female and the male haven't been located. I, weird, because I was in Lancaster with her for three months, end of last year, and then for a week when I got... You should watch the video of everything the third guy, the one who helped set the fire, said in the hotel room when he was explaining how the allegedly deceased person escaped after setting the fire. Would you like to see the video? Because I've mentioned it three times and you haven't even asked. Do you want to see the video of this thing you're supposedly... I've seen your videos on YouTube. What, what's that? I've seen your videos on YouTube. The one from last month? From, from April? Where he explained how the fire was set? I'm telling you there's new video, Chris. For the third time. I'll, I'll just dub the clown music in afterwards, buddy. Do you want to see the video of the other person that you had trouble locating and but never talked to? Explaining how the fire was set and how the person you're saying is dead that you helped dig out is actually still alive because he said it and ran? Would you like, I mean, you haven't talked to either of the two people other than me and I've given you lots of motive, but you're not interested because you know I didn't do it. You know they did it because you're fucking covering it up. So do you want to see the video, Mr. Investigator, or no? Well, I'll just email it to you. How about that? And then we'll, and then you'll, you'll have your boss talk to me, Sergeant. Uh, my boss doesn't need to talk to you. I think he does, Chris. You're, you're, you, you participated in the cover up of an arson, and you're an arson investigator, Chris. Email me your video. I will. And then we'll talk some more. How about that? You're investigating a fire I just said I have motive to, and you, I'm about to send you incredibly detailed video of the person you couldn't locate, and you don't think you need to talk to me again? Sorry. Are you bad at your job, Chris? No, it sounds like you're uh, pissed you're off. On drugs right now. Oh, I'm pissed off at you, Chris, because you're helping cover up a fire, Chris, and it's literally your job to investigate them. 
The two FBI agents that set the fire the day I arrived? Okay, who are the two FBI agents? What are their names? Julian Saucedo and uh, Patrick, whatever the fuck last name of his. There you go. Never knew how to pronounce it, thanks. How's he doing, by the way? Is he enjoying retirement? No, he's sitting at the coroner's office. Is he? They still haven't claimed him? I don't know if they've claimed him or not. Hmm. You know he's not dead, Chris. But I'll send you some video and we'll talk some more. How about that? Sure, send me your video. You have a nice you day. Your email address, right? Yeah, oh, I got your card right here, son. Okay, send me your video and then we'll talk some more. Great, you have a great day. Sergeant Burgo, how you doing today? Good, good. I'm, I'm good. You remember who this is? Oh, I thought you'd have come up on the caller ID. Um, it's uh, Seth Aronson. The guy from the fire in the desert. Fire in the desert. You don't remember the fire in the desert? The hole, there you go. Why didn't you just say that? Well, I mean, how many fires are out in the middle of the desert? Quite a few. Okay. Well, the hole, I wanted to make sure you knew who I am. So we got a problem. Um, two out of the three people who were in that fire are now absolutely sure nobody died there. So it's weird that you still won't release the police report. I'm, I'm, I'm asking how I get a hold of the police report because I'd like to know what's going on here. Okay, it's, the police report doesn't come through me because mm. somebody died in homicide bureau. But you were in charge of the, the, the arson. Did it now switch to homicide? Did, you were apparently in charge of it when for some reason the uh, Red Cross wouldn't give me the $400 and wouldn't give Victoria the $400 after they talked to you. Okay. If, you if, were running if, point if on this. Told, are you gonna let me talk? Yes, please. If you paid attention to what I told you when I was on the scene, on scene that night, I said I was the origin and cause investigator because somebody lost their life that is handled by Homicide Bureau. So my purpose for being there was to figure out how the fire started and collect fire evidence. Okay. Not in charge of that investigation. So and so I'll now so, that to you that evening. so you know that the person who allegedly died was part of the arson that started the fire. Okay. Neither yourself. You didn't tell me it was an arson. Well, it was obviously an arson. Did you not come to that conclusion yet? That really? Here's, here's my problem, Sergeant Burgo. You didn't ask to talk to either of the two, two other people who survived the fire. They were gone. I have, I have contact with both of them. You have, still haven't asked me for contact for the only two other people besides me who allegedly survived this fire that you can't seem to figure it out. I Sir. Contact info that night. Yeah. Never reached out to either of them. Never reached out you to either of them. Give me a name to one of them. I had to figure that out on my own. I gave you the name to both of them. I get it on video, son. Don't start lying now. You gave me the first name of a male Hispanic. That was it. You didn't give me his whole name. I looked it up in my phone for you to get his last name. And in multiple... Co I gave you right. six of his contact you numbers. Something? Yeah, you I do. do, you do? I need to know why you're covering up an arson, sir. So why don't I retake your statement again, then? That'd be great. Well, two FBI agents, I'm, I'm assuming, I don't know who they work for, but they're obviously cops, because if they set up this entire arson, you guys covered it up. So, well, the one who didn't die in the fire, and you all insisted someone was in that fire, but wouldn't let me look at it. Um... The person, I see so you should watch the video of the other person, the Julian that you say you had a search down. As if you don't know he's a fed. I got video of Julian explaining how the person who allegedly died in the fire 
set it up so he could be on the outside and run away after yelling those weird non-pain sounds that he made. Remember I said he just made some two weird noises and then never made another sound. Your, your claim is that nobody died in that fire. Obviously, well, you know nobody died in the fire, buddy. You helped yeah, cover it up. I don't have time for this. You don't? Well, I just needed you to say it on video, son. So let's, who's your, who's your commanding officer? Okay, there is a person that was deceased in that fire. False. I know because my partner and I dug him out with the coroner's office. Dug him out? The person who perished in that fire. What do you mean dug him out? on top and you cover it with dirt when that wood burns away the dirt falls so the person was sitting on their backside and they're partially buried does that make sense it does i just i can't remember exactly what y'all said at the time when you wouldn't let me see his corpse and then got real weird about releasing the uh because you said the, the police report wouldn't be released you didn't say, oh, it's somebody else's jurisdiction. You said it won't be released, and I can't see it. I never it. said it was anyone's jurisdiction. You just said now the reason that I'm, I shouldn't be talking to you is because it went to homicide. You're not. So why would, are you my only contact in this all this time? That's weird. So who should I talk to, bro? You're the only one who gave me their card, Chris. I do that with everybody. Yeah, but no one else talked to me after the after the incident, and nobody else told the Red Cross not to help me. Chris? Who told... I didn't tell the Red Cross not what to help What did you me. tell them? I think I, I think I was trying to get you help through the Red Cross. Well, and what did you tell them? I don't recall what I said. This was, what, six, eight months ago? Well, it was weird, because they were all about to to reimburse me as they do for every other human who loses everything in a fire and then they talked to you and then they said they weren't allowed to speak to me anymore. I, I Weird. I don't have any control over what the Red Cross does or doesn't do. Yeah, but why would they suddenly not help two fire victims, Chris? I don't know. I'm not the Red Cross. Yeah, but I told you I had motive, Chris. You what? Motive? You have what? Motive. Motive for what? Are you, are you like... Is, is there a ceiling? There must be a ceiling in the sheriff's department. There's got to be a ceiling, right? An, an IQ ceiling? I talked about my motive the entire time that I talked to you and the other guys in the... The, uh, the other cops who sat with me all night after the so fire you guys set. You started the fire to kill this guy? No. I'm saying, why aren't you investigating it? It's being investigated. Still? Well, the, the female and the male haven't been located. I, weird, because I was in Lancaster with her for three months, end of last year, and then for a week when I got... You should watch the video of everything the third guy, the one who helped set the fire, said in the hotel room when he was explaining how the allegedly deceased person escaped after setting the fire. Would you like to see the video? Because I've mentioned it three times and you haven't even asked. Do you want to see the video of this thing you're supposedly... I've seen your videos on YouTube. What? What's that? I've seen your videos on YouTube. The one from last month? From, from April? Where he explained how the fire was set? I'm telling you there's new video, Chris. For the third time. I'll, I'll just dub the clown music in afterwards, buddy. Do you want to see the video of the other person that you had trouble locating and but never talked to? Explaining how the fire was set and how the person you're saying is dead that you helped dig out is actually still alive because he said it and ran? Would you like, I mean, you haven't talked to either of the two people other than me and I've given you lots of motive, but you're not interested because you know I didn't do it. You know they did it because you're fucking covering it up. So do you want to see the video, Mr. Investigator, or no? Well, I'll just email it to you. How about that? And then we'll, and then you'll, you'll have your boss talk to me, Sergeant. Uh, my boss doesn't need to talk to you. I think he does, Chris. You're, you're, you, you participated in the cover-up of an arson, and you're an arson investigator, Chris. Email me your video. I will. And then we'll talk some more. How about that?
You're investigating a fire I just said I have motive to. And you, I'm about to send you incredibly detailed video of the person you couldn't locate. And you don't think you need to talk to me again? Are you bad at your job, Chris? No, it sounds like you're uh, pissed off. Right now. Oh, I'm pissed off at you, Chris, because you're helping cover up a fire, Chris. And it's literally your job to investigate them. The two FBI agents that set the fire the day I arrived. Okay, who are the two FBI agents? What are their names? Julian Sacedo and uh, Patrick. Whatever the fuck last name of his. There you go. Never knew how to pronounce it, thanks. How's he doing, by the way? Is he enjoying retirement? No, he's sitting at the coroner's office. Is he? They still haven't claimed him? I don't know if they've claimed him or not. Hmm. You know he's not dead, Chris. But I'll send you some video and we'll talk some more. How about that? Sure, send me your video. You have a nice day. Yeah, oh, I got your card right here, son. Okay, send me your video, and then we'll talk some more. Great, you have a great day. You too. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Jesus Christ.